How's it going there, folks? This is Quinn from Snazzy Labs, and this is the first sneak peek, I suppose, at the Windows 8 operating system, which will be coming next year. Now, Microsoft released the first developer beta build yesterday, and actually it is, uh, although initially and supposed to be just for developers, you can download it yourself and run it in applications such as VirtualBox or VMware. I'm personally using Parallel 7, and it's working like a dream. It's been really smooth and great. Uh, it's a little bit slower since I'm running ScreenFlow, but really what Microsoft is intending to do with Windows 8 is create an operating system that doesn't just uh, work in the traditional computing sense that we're used to. They want to create something that is multi-platform, that works on tablets as well. Uh, not really a smartphone OS like iOS or Android that's scaled to a tablet, rather a desktop OS that's super powerful that's scaled down to a tablet. And uh, it's certainly interesting, and let's take a look at it. All right, so we have it right here. Uh, this is the login screen. As you can see, it's very plain and very basic. It uh, takes on Metro UI, which has been used in Windows Phone 7 and really Zune OS for several years now. And uh, it's also making its way into pretty much everything Microsoft. It's coming to the Xbox and a dashboard update later this year and obviously the upcoming Windows 8. So you can enter a full password if you so choose, but you can also enter a PIN um, if you enter it correctly. Uh, sorry. Now, I'm using a keyboard and mouse, uh, and, you know, that's kind of what this is intended for, but it's also intended for a tablet. So keep in mind, you could be touching all of this, and really, it seems a little bit smoother to touch it, but I can't do that because there's no build that's available for any tablets. But this is the tar start screen. It's a lot different than probably what you're used to. You can go into uh, the regular classic Windows environment that you're used to, but uh, it's a little bit hidden. They want you to be in this environment. And uh, I'll tell you, it's a little bit weird at first. Um, I'm not a big Windows user, so I can't say that like this is a total change for me, but I can say it's unusual and I have used Windows in the past. And this is obviously very, very new. Now, there's a lot of people that don't like this, but I think a lot of people that are criticizing haven't actually tried it. Uh, it's going to be impressive and it's going to be something that I think everyone can uh, really, really like. Now, Let's uh, start out things with a very simple Internet Explorer. So this is a website that has actually been saved from the last time I booted, uh, which is pretty interesting. But uh, what we can do here is we can bring up the address bar by hitting some button, which I've forgotten. Uh, it's all full screen, which is uh, not desirable to some, but I think is pretty interesting. I'm really trying to figure out how to bring this bar up. I do not know. Probably should have checked into that before. I, no, there we go. <laughs> okay, so uh, if you right-click down in the bottom corner, it'll bring up the address bar, which is on the bottom, as well as all of your tabs and pages. So you can manage this from here, uh, which is quite nice. Now, you can also uh, just do a generic search, and the search on uh, Windows 8 is really, really powerful. Uh, let's just do a generic search, though, and say in Gadget. Um, I can just search in Gadget. It'll do a Bing search, and there we go. I can launch it right there, easy and ready to go. Now I can open new tabs as I always was able to do by uh, hitting command or I guess control T and uh, navigating to that respective website. Now I could go to snazzylabs.com for example, and here is my website. Uh, it, as you can see, it's fully functional, looks really quite good. Um, I'm pretty hot. And um, yeah, so I mean, it really is a basic outlook on uh, computing, but it's pretty interesting and pretty smooth and pretty slick. Now this is just Windows, uh, rather this is just Internet Explorer and there's a lot more to it which we are going to get into. Uh, you can get back to pretty much everything by hitting the start button. Microsoft also announced the store which is much like the Apple App Store. It's not yet available but you'll be able to purchase applications and music and everything through this one little hub which is quite powerful and pretty nice. There's a great little stocks application, obviously not going to be uh, huge for some people, but uh, I think it's pretty neat. Uh, you can add stocks, uh, just you enter the ticker symbol, so we could do Apple, A-A-P-L. We click add, and there we go, we can see uh, the stock in the week, month, or year format, uh, as well as the uh, latest statistics. You can also see market news, uh, which is pretty cool as well, so we could go, okay, here we go. It opens in Internet Explorer and uh, that works out great. Now, like I said, they do have an environment for 
the old classic windows. And if you want to get into that, uh, there's a lot of applications that allow you to do this. Um, so what we're going to do is you can see view or use desktop view. Now this brings you into what is very, very strikingly similar to Windows Phone 7 or actually Windows 7 right now. Um, so this site is loading up. Let's close this. As you can see, it's pretty well revamped. I mean, we have this uh, start symbol down here in the corner, which is uh, obviously different. Uh, and we have a couple other things here. Let's quit that. If we open this, it'll take us back to our start screen. Okay, now you can also drag to the left-hand side of this little window, and it'll take you back to the environment you were in before. So I could go back to the desktop mode, which is pretty dang cool. Uh, we can open our control panel here, and uh, as you can see, Windows Explorer is drastically different. They changed a lot of stuff in here. Uh, a lot of people have been complaining that it's ugly, and it is a lot of information all right here. But uh, I, I don't mind it. Personally, I've never been a serious Windows user, so I can't say that this is better or worse than the prior version, but it is different. Let's go back into the environment that uh, is our regular Metro UI environment. Uh, there's Windows Explorer again. Uh, there's a control panel right here, uh, which is you know basically the control panel. There's also the More Settings tab, which brings you your classic control panel. I will navigate back to... This here, there's a great little news reader, which is really, really fantastic. Uh, so this is in Gadget right here. Uh, all of the latest articles are right here, and you could like click an article, and it'll give you uh, pictures and everything of that sort, and you can open the full article in Internet Explorer if you so choose. Obviously, you're given the ability to go back to where you were before. Really, really fantastic. Um, but you can add different feeds. I mean, this news news app is really quite powerful. We could add a feed, and we could go, let's add... Um, www.voidgeniusreport.com. You don't have to know the uh, you don't have to know the RSS URL or anything of that sort. You just click it, boom. Oh, we don't want the comments. We want this one, boom. We click done, and Boy Genius Report will appear in our news headlines. Pretty dang cool, if I do say so myself. Uh, so as you can see, it's beautiful. It's a lot of information, kind of just in one point. But I like it. You can scroll back and forth through stories. And again, obviously hit the headlines uh, for the full web page experience. Pretty neat there. Uh, Windows 7 actually features a really, really powerful search. Um, you can search all of your contacts, application, folders, settings, everything uh, right from this. I think that search was kind of one of the weakest aspects of Windows. And now it really is quite strong. Uh, again, it is in this environment here, and you can search uh, classically like you could on uh, Windows 7 before. However, it is a little bit more clean with the Metro UI. Uh, you have a Twitter application that's built straight into uh, the app. It's actually really quite stellar, and I like it a lot. But uh, it's here you go. You can see all your, the people you're following in their past tweets, which is really, really nice. Uh, I really enjoy that. And you can scroll over to see people that are following you and uh, their tweets as well. So that's pretty dang cool. Let's go back to the start menu. There is a uh, Socialite, which is a Facebook app for Windows 8. It's actually pretty darn smooth. And uh, I noticed that the performance was pretty slick, uh, almost as good as Facebook.com. You have a very simple weather application uh, with the latest weather info for your city. So Salt Lake City right here. Uh, nice little animated graphic in the background. You can see a five-day forecast as well as an hourly forecast. Pretty basic. There's a lot of other games and other stuff that's included with Windows 8. I'm not sure that this will actually ship in the final retail version. I can't imagine it will because if you look at some of the games like, uh, let's see, like, uh, where is it? This one. Treehouse Stampede. It's a lot of fun, but this game looks like it was designed by a four-year-old and I doubt Microsoft will be shipping this with the final version of their OS. This is probably just like a little crapshoot to kind of... Uh, show developers how things are supposed to be made. So you can see DLR, you're supposed to create a word. Uh, Roland. Not a word. <laughs> I don't even know. It's been a long day. Um, lard. Tr I don't even know, guys. I was playing this game earlier, and I was doing pretty well. Not, not so much anymore. <laughs> You can hit start, go back. This is really pretty much Windows 7. I mean, that's it, or excuse me, Windows 8. That's pretty much it. Again, there are applications that are included in this, like Piano. You can hit the notes directly. This is actually kind of the most polished app I've seen so far. Um, I don't know if there's any sound. Yeah, there is. Uh, we can play a quick song.
<laughs> anyway, piano's fun. There you go. It, that's it. I mean, it really is basic. There's not a whole lot to it, but it really does kind of change our aspect on the desktop and um, really powerful computing. It's like, do we really need that anymore? Most people just play games, browse the web, check Twitter, check Facebook, and there's no need for a lot of these heavy-duty applications. Now, don't get at me wrong. <laughs> there is a need for this. I'm editing this video with a very powerful application, but for most people, this is just perfect. And for those of you that do need a powerful environment, you can go to the classic windows you're used to and love. It's a really, really great, interesting OS. Um, it's certainly not finished yet. I mean, they have a lot of work to do, but I've been continually impressed by the uh, finesse and speed of the OS, and I'm excited, uh, excited for what's to come. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks. This video is brought to you by Roku, Netflix, Hulu, Music, Live Sports, Angry Birds, and a whole lot more. All on your TV for just 60 bucks. So much fun for so little. Visit treadedus slash Roku to learn more.